Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got a new little settlement kind of thing. This is the Sanctuary Hot Springs Home and Settlement. So it's a player home and a settlement all building together. So we're here right on the edge of Sanctuary. You know, right? You know where we're at. It's pretty much Sanctuary, right? This is the edge. This is where the house is. There's normally a house there. You destroy it. So we're just going to walk right down this path here. And it should be right around the corner here. Um, somewhere down here. We're just going to walk through. And we're here. This is it, right? The Sanctuary Hot Springs. So this is obviously part of the river location. The hot springs are right in here. You can sit in this tub. There's apparently also a Jangles the Moon Monkey just like freaking out in there physics wise. Um, there's a watermelon with, with like glasses or bottle cats with glasses and then like a little hat on him. Um, you got a fishing rod obviously so that way you know you can go fishing and stuff your blacksmith hammer it is a player home there's like a fully fledged giddy up buttercup unfortunately it has got mini nukes on the side you can take it oh the mini nukes fell off we broke the physics it's fine it's still pretty um obviously there's some stuff back here too but this is some separate stuff we're not going to get into what that is right this second um this is the hot springs so we're going to head inside the hot springs home here um apparently the key was like right here it requires key so we have to find the key um Take the fuse box. Oh, the power's off and on. So, what does the power do? Let's find that. Is that to turn off the turn it off and on the waterfall there? Is that what I heard? If I turn that off, does that do anything? No, maybe it is a power thing and there's lights or something. I'm not even sure what it affects at the moment. Um, we'll mess around with it more in the future. I like to do these things live. I like to give you live impressions and stuff. Let's see if we can find this key though. I'm, I'm gonna look around for it a little bit. If I see anything interesting, I'll let you guys know. So, I haven't found the key yet, but I did find that this is workshop here, so you can use a workshop. You can actually craft in this area um, and, like, delete stuff if you want to or, or build your own stuff on top of it. So, this is, like, a fully functioning setup, but the workshop is right here on this fuse box to the right. I just wanted to show that off because I think that's an interesting thing. I'm still going to find this key, though, and I'll see you when I do. So, there's this note here we found. Carla, danger, leave now. Sensor here. The Institute must have taken an interest in the vault on the hill. I'm going to the foxhole I made north of the vault to see what's going on. Hope I see you again soon. After all, you promised to bring me those supplies. Take care. Carpenter. Okay, so we're going to go look for it. It's apparently north. The key is apparently north of Vault 11. I'll see you guys when we find it. So, there's a tree icon on the map. You'll see it. We're here. Um kind of off the edge of the map, but it's called the Carpenter's Foxhole. It's a tree icon. You just got to run towards it from the vault. Um, so this is his foxhole, so he was here. There's also a ghoul here, unfortunate. There's another ghoul along the way, too, just so you're be warned that there's combat here. Um, but there should be a key here, then, I imagine, right? This is the foxhole, so we could find the key. Um, we'll just have to look around a little bit. So I found the Carpenter. He's right outside of his shed, actually. And he's got the key on him and a mechanic jumpsuit and all this stuff. He did die out here. It looks like moldy food. Another Sanctuary Springs key. Some other stuff. New Cola Contum. You always want to take those. But yeah, so he was sleeping out here. He didn't make it. No notes, though, as far as I see. So no more story exposition on, like, what happened to him. He just, he just died. He just didn't make it out here. So we'll fast travel back real quick um, to the Sanctuary Hot Springs home. And we'll go check it out what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so we just actually fast traveled and we spawned inside because we just had the key. I didn't even have to open the door. So I imagine, get in here, this is the door. This is a sweet ass looking place already though. So you get all your home necessities and stuff, right? You get your steamer trunk, and then you nuke all these bullets that you could possibly need. All kinds of crafting materials and stuff in here though. It's just full of stuff. This guy is building some, some bottle cap mines, cryo mines, shish kebab. Holy cow, power fist. Like, this is early game stuff. Obviously you get this pretty early on in the game. And this could set you up with a pretty dope player home, right? Power armor frame. Some ice cold Nuka Cola Quantum. Holy cow. A Nuka Grenade. Like, look at all this stuff. You could just get so set up. Glowing Blood Pack. Some Rataway. All this stuff. Med X. Like, I like little posters on the wall. This is a nice looking place. It's actually big. I think that a lot of home mods kind of cramp their stuff in too much. Uh, but this one really does a good job of spreading its stuff out. We got more cooking stuff, right? The type of there. This is the cool little living room here. I like this, though, with the pool table and all the little stands here. Picture frames. They don't have pictures in them, but they're, they're there. They're, they're trying to look like homey and stuff. I'm just messing around with stuff. Door. Okay, what are we going here? Uh, more like, this is like a storage room, I imagine. Lockers and then these containers. I imagine you could pick whatever you wanted to store them in. Yeah. 
Got a lot of storage containers back here. What's like sea captain's hat and all this? I mean, so much stuff in here. So like, obviously this is like, if you're a beginning game player, this is obviously very beneficial to you. This is your bedroom. You got a duffel bag here with a bunch more bullets in it. More, oh, a 10 millimeter reflex sight just sitting on, like ready for you to use. 308 rounds, fusion cores, like just set up so much. All kinds of stuff you can turn and scrap if you wanted to, so you could build up of the sediment. Because obviously, like I said, outside it's a pure sediment. A DB Tech Varsity uniform. I don't even think I've ever seen that outfit before. A mini nuke, just because you want more mini nukes. This is more of your more kitchen storage, I guess. Cooking pot. Oh, I just knocked it over though. This stuff is a little bit physics finicky, um, but it is there. Look, it's like a computer of some kind that he was like scrapping. Um, a plunger sticking to the wall on the sugar bombs thing clothes hangers like all kinds of stuff and it's all neatly organized and looks very nice um what else we got back here so this is like a, another storage shed looks like he was building robots back here um with some more stuff industrial solvent kind of stuff what else we got in here bathroom area shower area yeah toilet looks like shit still though <laughs> but you know you gotta take a shit someplace right um more, you know, like your regular bathroom things, the, the, the vault tech posters and stuff are very nice. There's there's all kinds of fuse boxes too. I wonder if these turn off the lights. I don't think that they do. Do they? Oh, it does. So that light's on now. And then it's off? No, I don't think it turned off. The light's still on. I'm not sure what that does yet. You guys can let me know if you guys know more than me, because I, I don't really know at this moment. There's another fuse box, right? But you'd think these would be the, like, the lights but the lights are not turning off. Maybe I have a conflicting mod or something and it's not allowing these lights to turn off or something. But it's still a really, really, really cool player home, right? Especially because you can get it very early on in the game. And you can have a much better experience just living out of here, fuck sanctuary. I mean, you live in a hot springs, right? Like, you could totally... We can unlock the door finally. I guess we could have maybe just fast traveled in there in the first place because we never unlocked the door. Once we discover it, we just fast traveled in. I don't know if that's like a cheese thing. But you, get, I mean, you can go get the key. You could follow the story parts. Um, but yeah, you could totally build this a settlement. You could build like water supplies and stuff, water pumps. I mean, you could you got access to fresh water, though, or not fresh water, but you could put a water purifier on it, right? You could grow a little bit of food. I'm sure there's some ground space, right? Because it goes pretty far, close to sanctuary, right, to where you could get there. Um, let me just double check that real quick, right? I want to see, but I'm pretty sure that this loading screen is taking a really fucking long time. Apologies. Normally I cut these things out, but I thought it was not going to take that long. Let me out of here. I hear it. You, you always say that. Yeah, you hear the sounds. Okay. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let me go into crafting mode. And, yeah, you could get pretty far. I mean, like here. That's not a huge amount of line, but there's enough. Ooh, freezy, crashy, crashy, freeze. Um, that is enough space to where you could. I mean, you got wood here. You got enough supplies to start some stuff. You could grow some food here, and you could get some settlers here. You could build some turrets. You could do some defensive stuff. You could swim in your little hot springs. You have your own player home that nobody could fuck with. You could just give everybody else outside beds, I guess. There's a gate. You can work all the way up here. What is this? It's like a teddy bear with like a toy alien on his face, eating his face. What does the block say? Does the block say something? Like, well, well, I got knocked over. I fucked it up. I apologize. Um, but it's there if you're interested in that. Yeah, more space to grow food back here. Or if you wanted, um, you could start making some beds up here like some shelter for your for your residents if you want people live with you here or maybe you're just a loner and you're like fuck that but this is where i'm like you send all your companions or whatever and they all live here kicking it having a good time chilling with the giddy up buttercup that's so cool it's a cool little place i mean it's got a lot a lot of detail to it just like with a lot of little details every it's a very complete thing and it's best that you can access very early on to where you're like, fuck it, dude, why would I live in Sanctuary? This is objectively better. I mean, it's not as much space as Sanctuary, but you don't want as much space. You don't want to deal with as many people. Fuck Preston. Preston can live in Sanctuary. I'm going to live over here in my own space, okay? I, I don't need any of your Minutemen bullshit quests anymore. I don't know. It's a cool little player home, though. So, yeah, if you guys want it for yourselves, make sure to check out this mod for yourselves. The easiest way to do that is to check out the top link in the description. There will be linked there to the Bethesda.net page so you can download this mod for yourselves. If you guys have enjoyed the video, I'd greatly appreciate a like button down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Order to me, and I will see you in the next episode.